Hello, this is intended for the this is video instruction for the people how to create uh, assign managers to YouTube page and uh, so they can do hangouts and also how to accept the invitation for the, to become the manager. So you go to YouTube. You came to YouTube. And you have to switch from one channel to another. Also, it shows how to switch from all one channel to another. So it says all my channels here, or it says YouTube settings. So let's go to YouTube settings, and there you have see my channels or create new channels. So you have to switch to the right channel. So now I'm I can switch from one to another. So I go to this channel. So this is the channel which I'm now editing and then I go to YouTube settings so I have to switch to the right channel and then there's the channel and then I say add remove managers these are the managers which are invited so if I need to invite new manager I say add managers and here I type email of the manager test at gmail.com so it has to be a gmail address and uh, and you say invite and that's about it and that's what by default it will be a manager all right so now uh, how to receive invitation so that's an invitation people receive by email so that's an invitation it says blah 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 Max invited to become blah 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 and you say become a manager and just click on that and till here I say that he was already a manager because uh, it's already done but uh, otherwise it's uh, that's um, it would accept you as a manager now how do you start a new hangout there are several ways to start a hangout I started from YouTube page YouTube page so you go to your standard YouTube page and say upload which doesn't make any sense but you still click on upload and here I will zoom out here you have hangout Google Plus Hangouts on air. So there is on air and off air. I'm talking about on air Hangouts. So the advantage of on air Hangout is that you can broadcast and record, but also you don't have to broadcast and record. And until you click the button broadcast, it is like off air Hangout. So that could be a universal way to start a Hangout. So you say broadcast, you click on here, which is the same thing, broadcast. and name it usually I say blah 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 hangout but here I say just test add names and usually you can say your circles or here I will say VIP so these are the people who will receive your invitation so VIPs I have zero so that makes a lot of sense so I will invite now zero people but uh, if you invite your circles then uh, people who are subscribe to you and who the ones which you added as your circles basically those will be invited I don't I don't know if subscrip subscribers which are not in your circles if they will be invited I don't know that but usually you do your circles and then you kind of grow your circle and see who do you want to invite uh, require people to be 18 plus it's optional and then you say start hangout yes I'm starting it so multiple hangouts can be started. Remember that once you started it, when you started the broadcast, then you have to keep the page open. If you leave from this page, the broadcast will be stopped and then you need to start another hangout. So uh, you see that progress, progress semicircle uh, starting. So it's kind of started now. So. Uh, until you start broadcast it's just a regular hangout if you want to invite someone by email you click on that link copy it and send it by email so suppose I want to send it by email I just start my Gmail account say start and then paste it I go to my Gmail account and paste here uh, join us, us and I paste it here and that will be the link for people to to click you see now send and now another way is through Skype let me see if I can do it through Skype so in Skype I my 
add someone. Let me see who I uh, want to invite. I don't know. Mm, just so just testing. Testing. No action needed. But that would be the link I paste, and then they click. Uh, they click on the link, and that will be a hangout. All right. So uh, that's how we invite people. So this. Uh, if you want this this window separate, you just kind of carry it in, carry it out like that. You carry it around outside of the window. So, and then you, it becomes a separate window. It's quite handy, so you can have a separate window uh, from 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 Firefox or Chrome. So you start the broadcast. Before you start, you have to click allow questions and answers if you're using them. I normally don't use. I use only chat which is available anyway and then that that thing control room is pretty nice uh, okay uh, so you can uh, uh, increase the volume and eject people which is very handy all right uh, and you want if you want to close you just close it here if you want to open chat you open it here and that's all I use for now. And then you start the broadcast. Uh, before that, you have to make sure the microphone is working. So knock on your microphone, and you see that that thing around to the left of the broadcast uh, of the green button. Uh, you see it's moving. So that microphone is working. So if you have multiple microphones, uh, you need to check that it's it's working. All right. Um, here is mute. Here is uh, turn camera on and off, which is very handy. Uh, and here you can switch between different microphones. I have multiples and different cameras. I have multiples sometimes. Oh, I mean, this is speakers, and I have one camera right now. But it's darkened because I'm I'm on a different. I'm, I'm using it for for recording this video. All right. So you can change that. That's I use it very often, especially when I on different computers switching between different microphones and cameras. So between headset and laptop microphones, for example. All right. Okay, so that is useful. Uh, this is the button to completely end the, the broadcast. So there is a broadcast start and stop, and then completely end the hangout. So that's the button to leave. If you just close the window, the hangout might continue because other other people are there. So uh, if something froze, you can restart. So this is the button to re reload current page. I think it doesn't even stop the broadcast. Even if you started the broadcast, it's still. Well, let me try that. So I do the start broadcast. I have about four seconds to start. One, two, three, four. Done. All right. So we are broadcasted and recording. So this is already recorded on the site, and then later you have to go and uh, delete or edit it. You can edit it actually, but if it is long, it's almost impossible to edit it. Okay. So people will appear here. An important thing is that you, if you click on the person, that person face will be here all the time. If you unclick, then whoever is speaking, uh, it will automatically switch between the people. So it's important to control that. Who is Who do you show to the... That goes into the recording. So people can switch between different actors. They can look at them, but uh, between... So users can switch different faces by clicking on this, but you are the one who is controlling the broadcast. So you control whose face is recorded and shown to the public. So it's very important to keep a track of that. So automatic is good, but if you want to focus on someone, you can either mute everybody else. So muting is easy, like mute, you can mute anyone. Unfortunately, un unmuting is difficult. So un I'm speaking through a different uh, system, but right now I'm muted on broadcast. So unmuting, you can unmute only yourself, but you cannot unmute others. You can mute, but then they have to un unmute themselves. Strangely, they allow to turn on the camera of anyone, so you can uh, click on that, and then you can turn the camera on and off. So that you can do, but you cannot unmute. So mute. I'm pretty sure you cannot unmute others, but uh, I'm not not hundred percent sure, almost sure. All right, so that is all. Uh, so if uh, somebody else comes, another manager comes and leaves, the broadcast is stopped. You know, we had that unfortunate event. And if you stop the broadcast, there is no way to restart. You have to start a new one from scratch and invite people from scratch. 
that is inconvenient but I think you can reload let me try to reload and see if uh, this live button if it's still there so I will reload the page click reload so I disconnected now temporarily you about to start I understand okay got it join you see it's still live so you have about grace period of about few minutes but once I restarted the whole computer and it took about 12 minutes to come back and it was gone as the broadcast was stopped so I assume you can't really live for longer than five or so minutes that's about it so you stop the broadcast so now you have a regular hangout off air and you have to announce to people when you're recording when you stop recording so they can relax now it's off air people see that off air button here and I guess you're done and it looks where do you find it on on YouTube so you go to YouTube again I live the, I live from here so I can get a hand 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 here close done so go to YouTube I don't know how from here from Google Plus to go to YouTube I don't see a re an easy way so I just type in YouTube here or I have a bookmark so I'm at that thing so how do I find it you go to that gear button video manager all right uh, no videos uploaded but still there are live events I don't know uh, I think for the first time I have to say enable live streaming I already did two live events so so these are live events let me see so that's the single time I have to up, up, approve it but that's a new channel so live events one is live here and another one is already complete. So I had two parallel live events. One is going on right now and one is completed, which was my test one. So is the test one. So you could possibly edit it. So first half an hour or longer, you can only edit the description. And I don't think you can delete it from here. You have to go back. But OK, so live events. And then after a while it goes from live events to uploads and uploads you can also see it. So so go live now, upcoming and completed. Alright, completed is this one. So after a while you can actually edit it using YouTube editor. So it kind of co completes processing and you can edit it. So right now I just want to... I don't know what's that. I, I don't know what's that controller. Looks interesting but I just want to delete it so I click on it and say make sure you delete and write one it's final delete you can also if you wish to you can do it make it uh, just private and then it's there but it is and save changes and then and then it is not visible to anyone except the managers again live events so and finally I delete no I don't want to delete this one I want to delete completed one this one okay delete Shh. actions delete one video making sure it is a test one yes delete that's okay delete done here I think we are all done um, so the key was that link which I was sending by email you also can post it on Facebook you can post it on uh, your web page and that would be invitation unfortunately that link lives only for about an hour so if you started your hangout and you're waiting for someone to come you can't wait for longer than an hour I think if nobody is there it will uh, terminate automatically but if somebody came if there is a li at least two people it it will uh, run for up to eight hours the hangout is eight hours I think at eight hours is broadcasting time so maybe you can even have a little longer maybe nine hours is the limit so if uh, but unfortunately you can today schedule something and send them participation link and have that and have that uh, other than through Google Plus so on Google Plus uh, you can schedule the event by going to I'm running out of time have 20 seconds so you go to hangouts uh, hangouts on air so it's Google Plus and start the hangout on air and here you can say later and schedule it okay 
And if you